Can I make sure all odds are up here? Because we're going to solve this one up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug 52 right in where the W is. So I'm just going to ask you once again, please, if you can turn around and have eyes up so I know we're all present. So we've got $20 times 52 equals. And then here we've got 40 plus 12 times 52. Because we knew what the W equaled, we could just plug it right in. And something you're going to hear me say again and again when we do algebra over the next coming weeks is we're going to talk about always going back with your answer and plugging it in. So once we get this, 20 times 52, well, I know 10 times 50 is 500, so 20 times 50 must be 1,000, and 20 times 2 is 24. Did I need to go lattice or old school algorithm for that? No. 400 plus 12 times 52. Well, I know that 10 times 52 is 520. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. And I could also say, well, I know that, where, where am I going with this? 12 times 52. Oh, I know 12 times 50 is 600. I also know 12 times 2 is 24. So there's a few ways you can go at it. So it looks like, what, 624? What's 400 plus 624? Call it out. 1,024. 400 and 600 is 1,000 plus the 24. You did the first one wrong. Oh, did I do the first one wrong? Oh, I did do the first one wrong. Because 20 times 50 is 1,000. 20 times 2 is 40. I was thinking of this one already. I got ahead of myself. Good thing you caught me, eh? So which one should she take? The extra $16. The extra $16. Yeah, she should take this one. All right, let's take a look at the next example. I'll just use my mouse and scroll on down. Let's see what time we have on the camera. We've got a couple of minutes here. Okay, so we use variables to represent equations. Let's take a look here. It says, write each algebraic expression in words. Please be quiet. It says, then evaluate the value of the variable given. So it says 5k plus 2 for k equals 3. And it says, please write it in words. Well, this means 5k, that's five times a number. 5k is five times a number. Then it has plus 2. So if I said five times a number, then add 2. So let's practice this on our boards. I'm going to give you an equation. I'm going to ask you to say it. Then I'm going to say an equation and get you to show it to me on your boards. All right. If I've got... Who could say that equation out loud? Can anyone say this one out loud? Yes, Helga. Four times something plus three. Four times something plus three? Sure. Four times, I don't know, plus three. Absolutely. Okay, let's try one on our board. Are you ready? Five plus eight times something. Five times eight plus something. Let's see on your show me board. Five plus eight times something. Hold on to that. Five plus eight times something. Now I see this. I also see this. Good, all right. Eyes up to the front. Is it A or B? Show me A or B. Is it A? Or B? A or B? The B's oh, have it. You okay. got it. Yes. Five plus eight times something. All right, let's try one more. Here we go. I give my son his allowance every week. I won't tell you how many weeks yet. He already has eight dollars. He has eight dollars right now, and I give him five dollars a week. Why don't we say that W equals 
the wheat, okay? I give him five dollars a week, but he's already got eight bucks. So I give him five dollars a week, he already has eight dollars. Now, so I'm seeing this. One board, what else are we seeing? I see this. See this? Are there any others out there I should consider? Or do we have it? Wait, I'm So yours is either on the board or you want to show me what you might got. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Is it A, B, or C? Now hold on. He has eight dollars right now and I give him five dollars a week. Which one do you think it might be? Is it a, B, or C. Well, I got a few, there's a few A's out there, a lot of C's out there. Nobody thinks B though. Interesting. Yeah, you know what I find lot. interesting? The person who had this on their board is saying C. And so that, what that means is they probably identified their error and gone, wait, I know better. That's the best thing when you identify your mistake, get past it. Are you saying B? Like yeah. this? Okay. I don't Let's see. Five times eight dollars a week. Is it, are we doing? Am I giving him five dollars times eight dollars a week? No, I'm not giving him eight dollars a week. So it's not this one. And am I giving? Does he have eight dollars times five five dollars a week? Eight dollars times five dollars per week. That'd be forty dollars a week. Because eight times five dollars is forty dollars times a week. I don't give my son forty dollars a week. He's eight. What would he buy? Pokemon cards? Yikes! <laughs> he has eight dollars. Plus, I give him five dollars a week. Okay, now we're gonna change it. How much is he gonna have by Christmas? There's three weeks till Christmas. Um, don't say it. Solve it. There's three weeks till Christmas. We have now figured out that W equals three. So plug it in. We're gonna have eight dollars plus five dollars per week. And now we know how many weeks it is. That's rewritten as eight plus five times. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes! Okay, wait, now let's wait, ask wait. the silly question. How many of you already have more money than my eight-year-old by Christmas? How many have less? Well, I have 24. Oh, start doing chores and ask mom for money. Come oh, on, have, guys. I have 24. Do mom and dad, if you don't do your chores, do you get an allowance? You get cards count. What's that? Oh, you get cards count. Um, Maybe. I would have to say, well, would have to say, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's get on here. We've got. When we look at the questions in your text, we start off. It says identify the numerical coefficient, the variable, and the constant term. Do we know how to do this? Yes, we do. An algebraic expression has a variable p, a numerical coefficient seven, and a constant term nine. Write as many different algebraic expressions as you can. You're gonna to have to think about this one. How many of you could write an algebraic expression for these phrases? Six more than a number. Let's try that one real quick before the end of the lesson. Show me. Six, six more than a number. We'll say n equals a number, okay? We don't know what the number. How can I write six more then a number, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you guys are making me really happy now, yes. I feel like Mick Jagger when he really likes stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you got it? Bingo, six more than a number. I would also accept that. Sound good? You got six plus a number or a number plus six? All right. Where are we here? Are we, uh, it's me. It's me? Yeah. Oh, good? Yeah. Okay.
This is an okay place to be. This is a fantastic place to be. Okay, if, if you're here, go watch that Math Antics video. It's posted on the blog. You want to see it. And what I like about Math Antics, he does it different than I do. And that's a good thing. Because we have many different math thinkers in this class. And you might think the way I taught it, you might think better the way he teaches it. So head on to Math Antics. All my login info is on the board. Sorry, Creepers out in YouTube land. You can't see my log on, log on information. But if you know me personally, come ask me. I'll share it with you. Have a good one and ask lots of questions.